this is a uh, Doug Albert from the Doug Albert Gallery down here, and that's his dog Doogie above him. Um, that's the only time that dog's not barking. For one girl was waiting for the bus with her crutches. Bus left without her. Kevin Dare ran after the bus like 100 miles an hour. They say, stop the bus. And there's Mama Price. Mama Price is amazing. Um, every week, a black student will walk across the street and kiss her on the mural. Here's Jen Schroeder, and this is her son, Alex. He taught me everything I know about dinosaurs. Bob Moore is a native storyteller to children. He's also a bead maker and artist. There's Grace Holderman, who's an actress who comes into town every day, and just a beautiful, beautiful voice to the community. In life, people can inspire us just by a sentence, or they can inspire us by everything that they do. Atlantis is the city of lost cultures, you know, it was supposed to be perfect, writing, dance, theater, politics, whatever, you know, it was all, all one, and it was lost, kind of, uh, you know, the way I feel art is in this community. I designed Atlantis, painted underwater fully, and it was my intention to slowly drain that mural of water as more artwork came into town. I don't think Michael is uh, interested in uh, Michael, me, fame, but Michael, me, giving the gift to the world that God has given to me. I had a lot of opportunities in my life to pursue my talent, not really my art, in large cities, different parts of the world. I stay here because I love this place, you know, and I love what it could be, become. I watch a lot of square buildings being built with no emphasis on art. I got a little frustrated with that and started to adapt my artwork into a public art avenue. I look at walls always and see things transforming. Artists have a really important role in our society and Mike's been fulfilling that role. What he's doing with the murals is, is so positive because there's so many stories within a story. He's actually putting the history of State College on his murals. He really believes in sharing his work with, uh, with the community. He loves talking about his art. He loves to teach people about what makes him uh, do the art that he does. The mural inspiration is about those who have inspired me, but it also has a lot of, of myself about 9-11 involved in that. While I was painting the mural after the tragedy, um, just the people that, you know, all of us with the empty faces walking around that would come to the mural and see something in such a huge size and draw happiness from it. It's like almost my duty after that to work even harder. Every year since September 11th, um, 2001, when the planes hit, I work 48 hours straight on the mural. On Labor Day of this year, Tony Martin and 80 firefighters honor me with a cross that sits in the perspective point of the mural right now. It's made from the steel of the Twin Towers. It's 80 of the Sleepless Nights, which is the station in New York buffed it for an hour a day for 80 days. And when Tony told us that, I was just, you know, just crying, it was just beautiful. That wall brings to it a collection of people who would never otherwise meet. To look at, uh, look at the world as he sees it within State College and the, the whole bringing of all of humanity together, it's absolutely marvelous. When I have relatives and friends come to town for various reasons, I always try to make a point, take them down to see the mural. His rendering of the images and the, the, uh, the likenesses of people is amazing. It's almost photographic. And when he makes something like the mural he did, you have generations of families that come down there and will come down there for many years. It's all about love in the end. Love for the subject in the canvas. If you don't have that love, it'll just be a painting. To be around Michael, you're just lucky because he exuberates love and he wants to help people through his art. Michael just beams. He carries the light of life with him, the light of love. I just like to see his work uh, be respected and preserved in that manner so that the little ones who are yet to come can look at the people there and experience the joy that has been experiences, experienced by the ages that went before them. Being around Michael, you're always positive. He's full of positive energy and he wants to share it with people. I love the process of doing art. I love the viewer, I think, most of all. My hope for the State College community in the future would be that you couldn't take 
30 steps without seeing a piece of artwork. If it's a poem on the side of a building, or a live musician, or a poet, or a child, or a mural, or a sculpture, but I, don't th I think everywhere you go you should see a symbol of who we are through artwork. I just would like to see Atlantis drained of water. Mm -hmm.